Hey y'all, welcome back. Today's video is part two of the Goodwill Shop Along where Lovey's daughter and I went shopping at the local Goodwill in my hometown. So I cut the video off last time and if you were not able to watch that before you're seeing this video, I will link it in the description below as well as the iCard above. So sit back and relax and shop along with us. Okay, y'all, this is where we picked up when the other video ended and I am still carrying around that Mallard cup because I really wanted to find another one, but sadly I did not. So I did not end up taking this even though it was in my buggy. This was another little plastic mug that I was interested in. I was reading the bottom just to see what maker it was, but notice there's a lot of dishwasher damage to that, so I didn't pick that up either. To see what I did pick up, stay tuned. Next week, I will do part one of the haul from these two-part shopping videos, and um, you'll get to see what I did pick up. Clearly, I was really wanting that mug. <laughs> because I put it in the buggy and everything, but I did end up putting it back. At least I think I did. Oh, I loved this mug too. Now I did a double take on the maker there. It was Pottery House made in Japan. Um, and I spent a good bit of time looking through all of the mugs just to see if I could find a match but I did not find a match for this one. So I think I originally put it in my buggy and yes, I did, And but I did put it back at the end. Now here you will see that I am moving a bunch of stuff around because there were some lids to some butter dishes and some bases to some butter dishes. Um, and I was really trying to make a set. Um, I put the lid on this one, but I don't think that was right. It kind of looked right, but at the end it wasn't. Um, and then I spied this, what I believe is a sugar. So let me know if y'all think that is a sugar dispenser as well. Now there were a bunch of other pieces with that similar pattern um, that was like an open sugar, a regular sugar bowl, like we would know. Uh, those sake glasses were cute. But, and there was also a creamer, but none of the patterns look to be exactly right. So you'll see in just a few minutes that I find some pieces. Oh, I did find this piece. Y'all, do you think that would glow? The lighting in here is really bad. Um, it was awfully dark in the store, but I found this green bowl, but the thing that made me pick it up was that special green. And we all know that special green but I, I'm not sure if it would glow or not. And of course, I didn't have my black light with me. Always take your black light with you guys. You never know when you might run across something that will glow like uranium glass or something. I'm back on this sugar dispenser. Um, and I, like I told you, I found a couple of other pieces. Do y'all think that goes together? Tell me in the comments below if you think those two pieces went together. And I'm saying here, uh, there must have been a lid for that. But uh, quickly I was diverted because I found a piece of Fire King. This was a really pretty white piece with a gold uh, trim on it. But I'm steady going back to those two uh, clear glass pieces there. It's just not very often that I find one of those sugar type dispensers. So I was very interested in it. Now I liked these glasses a lot, but I told myself I would not be buying any more glasses. So I moved to the artwork. I probably should have gotten this little piece right there, um, but I'm always looking at frames to see if there are any vintage frames. That was a pretty Christmas card that had been framed in one of those little metal frames. I like to look at the artwork um, and halfway through looking at it, I remembered, girl, you have to fly back to Texas. That is not gonna fit in your suitcase. I did pick up a few things. I'm looking for a canvas to 
do some original artwork on and consider painting over an existing picture. But then again, remember, you have to put it in your suitcase. So lots of really pretty pictures here. They had a great bit of artwork. I really liked this picture of the boy with the puppies too. That was a really sweet picture. Checked out some of the linens. I didn't see anything on this side. Typically, I'm looking for maybe an afghan or some type of blanket. My friend Christine at Side Street Market really has me interested in the afghans now. That quilt was okay, but um, I did go back and look at that and it had a spot on it, so I left that. There's a set of sheets, or at least a top sheet, and a pillowcase coming up, and I really like the pattern. There it is. I really like the pattern and the colors on that, but it was not a full set. It was, I believe that was the top sheet. Um, I think, yeah, that was the top sheet. And then a little bit further, you'll see that I found the long pillowcase, but I don't have any of those body type pillows. Okay, so. this shows two for $1.99. And I don't know if it's uranium or not, but I cannot, I gotta put down this camera and look for the other piece. And they keep bringing stuff out. I'll never get out of here. Oh, I have to leave it. That little white set is the one that I talked about finding the picture in the first video. And then I found the mugs in the second part here, but I did have to leave that behind. I think that the picture may have had a top or I would have liked to have had a sugar to go with that. I loved this music box. Why I didn't get it, I do not know. It's not marked or anything. Um, it is a bisque feel to it. It was only $1.99 and you will see that I go back to that several times, but why I didn't just go with my gut and put it in my buggy, I have no idea. I'm coming up on this bag, another goodie bag. Now it had a lot of ornaments. It had about three or four vintage ornaments in there, but um, I love that little styrofoam one, especially after the styrofoam reindeer one that I found in my granny's box of ornaments. And I'll link that video as well. That was a fun little discovery. I found all of the ornaments that my great grandmother had on her tree. The reason that I didn't get this bag is because it had a little snowman figurine that was really heavy in it um, and it was broken. So I left that behind. Now I've spied these napkin rings and they are very vintage. They're a hallmark. The box has got some dirt on it, but I think it can be cleaned up. But the napkin rings, I believe they're that melamine, malmine, I can't remember how to pronounce it, but they are a hard plastic um, and they are just little, four little napkin rings. So I thought they were cute. So I picked those up as well. It kind of saddened me to see this American flag there. I wasn't sure if it was one of the decorative flags or it was another special kind of flag. And I'm not sure, aren't you supposed to dispose of those at a local VFW or something? I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Tell me in the comments below. I loved this little box. I probably should have gotten that too um, and absolutely love the little verses and spiritual sayings inside of those. If nothing else, I could have used those little saying slips of papers as part of my package toppers, but I really should have gotten that now that I look back on that. 
Here's another music box. Now this looks like Otagiri. It was not marked Otagiri in any way that I could see. Um, but let me know, what do you think? Do you think this was an Otagiri piece? It was, there was nothing broken on it. No chips, no cracks, no nothing. Um, and I'm not really sure why I didn't get it other than getting it home would have probably been a nightmare. I think it was like $2.99, something like that. <laughs> now these three would have been a perfect set a salt pepper and toothpick holder but they were broken and had chips so i had to leave them behind sadly oh look macy oh. those are in my office mm -hmm. This is the store of no price tags. Seriously. It is true. There were lots of things with no price tags on it, but I really think what's happening is that they were putting out merchandise so fast and there was so much that a lot of the price tags just got overlooked or they simply were falling off. So all is forgiven because when you did take it to the counter, they gave you a very good price on what you brought. So I was happy with that. Let's check this out, Macy. believe this but I found a Fitz and Floyd bunny salt shaker and I could not determine if there was another Easter bunny or something like that that would go with it so we spent a good bit of time looking to see if we could find its mate because that would be a cute little set you know we often don't find very much Easter things We're doing the happy dance because we got a cart full of stuff. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it. Thanks so much for hanging out with us and shopping along with us at the local Goodwill. Back in my hometown of South Carolina, as you can see, we got a lot of good deals. But if you want to see what we actually got each item, stay tuned because next week there will be a two-part haul. And I'm going to show you part one of the two parts next week. Tuesday. So stay tuned. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you won't miss it. And again, if you are watching and have not subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and be part of my YouTube family in 2021, y'all. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.